Safe family. Before we get started, I want to say this. The beats and music that y'all hearing, that's coming from my boy DJ Compton two times. Y'all go check him out. Hit him up on Instagram for all your business inquiries at DJ.Compton. Two times as y'all see going across the screen. My boy gonna get you right for anything that you need. You feel me? If you looking for a source or just a flat out plug on beats, go tap in and check him out on the cool. But what's going on today, family? How y'all doing? How y'all doing, man? Y'all know we got a bunch to talk about on the cool. These are the people who tapped in with the Instagram family. Appreciate all y'all. Say, family, go show them some love, man. Shout out to my boy Willie Banks, man, for tapping in with me. Already solid 100. If y'all want y'all feature, in the next video, go tap in with me at All Facts King KO and wipe your feet as you come in the door. Y'all already know. And if you don't know, it's by liking, subscribing, ringing that bell icon, and turning post notifications on all. Y'all go do that for your brother family and show your brother that love. You feel me? On the cool, we got a bunch to talk about for the day, man. We got that man Tech, Bang, man, Lil Ivy Jr. Man, we got the Bleeders. Like I say, a lot to talk about. And first, we're going to kick things off with my boy F.L. Dussa, as he had a few things to say on his Instagram. Please still. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Ooh. Ooh, they don't hit him with the gas no more. They don't hit him with the gas no more. Jesus, give him a break. Yeah, ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, it's still yeah. Wicked. They had the homie in the air fryer hitting him with that electricity. Boy, it was going crazy, wasn't he? Hey, that little thing right there, wow, man, it be tripping me out. But that meant FL Dussa, he had a few things to say on Instagram about people trying to trick him out of his position, sending a message to Ops. Check this out. See the little small things people do to try to trick you out of your position. Don't let that there happen. Because, see, look, I, I got a little incident like this here. Look, something went down, you hear me? It ain't really serious because they ain't bought nothing. Ain't nobody drop. But it's like this here. You want me to crash out and do all this here? But if I leave, what, what you got? So you want me to let a person trick me out of my position? And I'm winning right now. You know, I come from nothing. You hear me? But when I was stepping and putting up, it was all good. Come on, tell me what y'all think. Am I tripping? Nah, you can't trick me. Now, do we know who this is talking about? Nah, of course. I mean, we can speculate, but ain't no point in doing that. I do want to say this, though. The ones who receive a bag and really change their lives and grow and start to deter away from the stupidity that constantly knocks you down, those are the ones who eventually win. The ones who believe the hype and fall into that mindset of, I got that bag and can't nothing stop me now. Those are the ones who get pulled down. So never believe the hype and grow and elevate. As the most high blesses you with new gifts, blesses you financially and pulls you out of a bad, unstable position, embrace that and change your ways. So that's what we starting to see from FL Dussa, at least from the way he was talking right there. You feel me? Let's go ahead and move on. And next up, we get a new snippet from that man, Lil Ivy Jr. As Lil Ivy Jr. has Fredo featuring on it. And them man taking a lot of jabs at their opposition. Back on that type of timing. I'm not that nigga you gon' never get the best of. I rub that four, but I ain't nothing like the rest of. I'm not that nigga you gon' never get the best of. I rub that four, but I ain't nothing like the rest of. I ain't nothing like the rest of. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their time. I'll be telling niggas they better do their
bless ya Get up in my business, I'ma bless ya Glock 17 and I ain't even 17 30 clip, I'm tryna hit him with like everything 30 clip, I'm tryna hit him with like everything Y'all see them men back on shenanigans and whatnot. But that wasn't it from the bank man, as the bank man also went on. Oh, he gonna be me at baseball, basketball, football, kickball, rub ball, nothing. Nothing with all that ain't gonna do nothing. You got three seconds left. Let's go. What you talking about? This is over with. You trying to run a play? She thought a play was gonna save him, man. She thought a play was gonna save him. Get the out, man. She thought a play was gonna help him, man. Get the out of here. The bank man went on to drop a trailer where he was dissing opposition and had tech within that trailer. So, more than likely, tech will probably be a feature on that song. For y'all that didn't catch what that paper said when he zoomed it in, it said F the Ops. So y'all see that man Fred O'Bank back on that type of Tommy. Ain't playing no games. And y'all also see that man Tech in the background. And speaking of Tech, he had a few things to say on his Instagram story as well. Check this out. Say what I go and put you on this earth with a After sending that little message, Tech goes on to post the video where, you know, his homie or his producer had left him in the studio all night waiting on him and then went to sleep. So he decided he was going to get a big bucket of water, go in there and throw it on his homie. You know what I'm saying? Y'all see him sitting a little camera up, the phone up right now, homie looking at it and whatnot. And then he splashed me with like a whole bucket of water. And man, I would be, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I'd be hot about this. You know, I've seen a lot of my homies get done like this. Fortunately for me, I ain't never got done like this because they already know what type of time I'm gonna be on. Hey, I don't play like this, bro. That ain't how I play. And lastly, we got the bleeders, man. And of course, throughout that live, that man, uh, real bleeder, previewed a few songs man where he was taking jabs at opposition and letting it be known that he missed cliff and d but that's not what we're here for what we are here for is to talk about this say cheese interview because we have not talked about it yet so we're gonna double back and dissect the whole interview but for right now i just want to touch on this part where cold bleeder let it be known that him and ben 10 was best friends because baton rouge is so small don't didn't y'all know each other growing up type sh no, I ain't never know. I ain't never know doing them. Like, I don't never know. No, like, I just be. Hey. Glen Oaks bound. Hey. Boy, that man real bleed up funny. That man said, I don't even know, dude. I'm just Glen Oaks bound. That man funny. Hey, we got to We got to dissect the whole interview. That way y'all can know exactly why that was funny, bro. That man just so nonchalant in this whole interview. Like, I ain't, I ain't talking about them dudes. 
Big Tim like my best friend, really. Word. That's my best friend. Like growing up type. My real best friend. My right hand left. I mean, I mean that makes sense though. If you think about it. NBA Ben 10 already exposed the fact that him and old boy Jermaine were childhood homeboys. That picture went around with him and old boy Jermaine when they was little. They discussed that. We discussed that. We all talked about it. You feel me? We all seen old boy Jermaine on the tour with NBA camp early days, early 4K trade days before they was really even out into the world as 4K trade. We seen him with them. You know what I'm saying? As one of, you know, the real hitters, allegedly, for 4K trade. But then, you know, it's one of those things, man, where it's like, it makes sense now that NBA Ben 10 would say something like, y'all could have been under me. Because it was love there at one point, so he felt like y'all should rock with me. But then here comes Say Cheese, trying to thirst for any type of NBA name that he can get these men to say. Why are you trying to get these men to talk about something that they don't need to talk about in front of the camera? You already know what the issue is, bro. Leave that alone. You know, I mean, of, of course, young boys doing this thing. NBA's na like a nationwide, you know, he's a superstar. Do y'all yeah. still keep in contact? See, my partners, they be having different partners. So, like, at that time, at that point back then, like, my like my cousin and them, they probably have been knew somebody else. I ain't know. Like, me and Bleed and them, like, we just be really in the hood. So, I we don't be knowing, bro. Yeah. That man real bleeder answered that question real intelligently. Like my partners, they be having partners that I don't really know about. Me and Bleeder was in the hood every day, so we wouldn't really know. That was intelligent to shift that question. He ain't gonna allow nobody to manipulate him into speaking to something that he really don't wanna speak on, you feel me? But also that makes sense. That makes sense as to why True Bleeder would tell old boy Jermaine, hey, don't rock with them dudes. Them dudes ain't got no love for you because he really didn't know them like that. Him and Real Bleeder was on the block. They was a little bit younger anyway, so they was doing their own thing. They didn't really rock with Ben 10 and all of them like that. That was old boy Coco and old boy Jermaine. Day, D, Cliff, they would have been around each other rocking in the hood because they a little bit younger. NBA Ben 10 is around Cole Bleeder in them age, so that makes sense. But that's all I want to look at for right now, man. Just letting y'all know, we're going to come back and dissect that interview. It's a little old now, so I know a lot of y'all going to have something to say about it. But I just wanted to let y'all know that that's going to come. We got to get around to that because we never did. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about everything. Like, comment, and